Hello there. In today's video, I'll walk you through the installation and configuration process of the WC Messaging Pro plugin. This video serves as the complete setting documentation for version 2.0.0. Please note that while you watch, our versions may be updated. To stay informed about changes, please refer to the change log on our website and in the video description linked here. The WC Messaging Pro plugin may use to simplify two-way communication between businesses and customers through WhatsApp. Before diving into the WC Messaging Pro plugin settings, our first step is to create an app and generate tokens in the Facebook developer platform. Let's get started by creating our app and generating the necessary tokens on the Facebook developer platform. To get started, head over to developers.facebook.com and logging into your account. Once logged in, go to the My Apps link in the top menu. Click on the Create App button located on the right side. Afterward, access the Gathers a menu on the displayed page and then click the Next button. Progress to the next page. Where you should select the Select Business option. Finally, click Next to proceed further in the setup process. Now, it's time to name your app and provide an email for administrative purposes. Choose the Business Account option and click on a Create App. Confirm your actions by entering your Facebook account password in the pop-up that appears. Next, scroll down to locate WhatsApp and click on a Setup to initiate the integration process. Afterward, navigate to your app dashboard. Once you're there, click on the WhatsApp drop-down menu located on the left sidebar. From the drop-down menu, select the API Setup option. Now, you'll find yourself on the Settings page where you can access crucial details such as the Access Token, Business ID, Phone Number ID, and more. Scroll down and proceed to add your phone number. This number will be used to send messages from your store. After clicking, you'll be prompted to enter details for your WhatsApp account profile, including the WhatsApp business profile name, time zone, business category, and description. Business description is optional if want to write it or click next to proceed. Input your phone number and click next. Then a verification code will be sent to that number. Enter the verification code to complete the verification process. Now your WhatsApp app set up, make sure to copy the access token, phone number ID, and business account ID. The access token is valid for only 24 hours. We'll be incorporating these details into plugin settings in the upcoming steps. Next, let's move on to the installation process of the WC Messaging Pro plugin. Open your WooCommerce website and to begin, navigate to the Plugins option, click on Add New Plugin, and upload the WC Messaging Pro zip file obtained after purchasing the plugin from the 7Gits website. Once the installation is complete, activate the plugin. After activation, you'll notice a chat option in the standalone menu for WC Messaging and a new WC Messaging tab in the WooCommerce Settings page. Then the next is WC Messaging Pro Settings. Okay guys, let's get started to the WC Messaging Pro Settings. First, navigate to the standalone menu of WC Messaging and click the WC Messaging Settings menu. Now, let's input the necessary information. Begin by entering the license key obtained from the Sevenjits' website. Next, paste the access token copied from Facebook. Remember, this access token is valid for 24 hours. Proceed by entering your WhatsApp number, ensuring it matches the one you provided on Facebook. Now, copy the phone number ID from Facebook and paste it here. Copy and paste the WhatsApp business account ID. Lastly, if you'd like to receive admin order status notifications, input the admin number as well, then save the changes.
Now let's proceed to the templates menu. When you add new message templates in the Facebook WhatsApp message template section, they will not appear in the select box until you synchronize using this button. You can also preview the templates via preview button. Enable order status notifications by providing the relevant details. This should cover pending payment, order processing, orders on hold, completed order, order cancellation, refunds, and order failure, including any order drafts. Remember to assign a template name and check the tick box for the send to admin option. This ensures that notifications are appropriately configured for each order status and the information is sent to the admin. If you're setting up WooCommerce bookings, ensure to turn on booking pending confirmation and booking confirmation notifications. Feel free to add more custom trigger buttons if needed. Once you've configured everything, save all the changes. And if you want to create template messages, go to the Facebook app dashboard. Click on the WhatsApp drop-down menu, then select Quick Start option. Then scrolling down and, click on Message Templates. Then Creating Templates, click on the Create Templates option. Choose your preferred option, for example, I am Select Utility. Then enter a name for your template, select the languages you want, and scroll up. Click on the Continue option, then select the head section media type, there are three, Opry and None, Text and Media, and I can select Text option and entering my text then move to the body section and provide the body text. Finally add the footer text. Your template message demo will be displayed on the right side. Click the Submit button. Then a message box displayed and click Confirm. Your template messages will be under review by Facebook. Once approved, you can start using the template. Alright, for the next step, let's set up the Receive Messages. Head to the Receive Messages section and enter the app ID and app secret key. To find these, go to your Facebook app dashboard. Navigate to App Settings Dash Basic. Here, you will see both your App ID and App Secret Key. Copy these values and enter them in the required fields. The App Secret Key helps validate messages from Facebook to your webhook URL, ensuring secure communication for your chats. Copy the webhook URL and webhook verify key should already be generated. Once you've entered the necessary information, save the changes. Next, head to the Facebook Developer App Dashboard. Click on the WhatsApp drop-down menu and then select the Configuration menu. A window will open. Click on the Edit menu. Enter the webhook and URL and Verify token, then click the Verify and Save button. Moving on to the Widget Tab section. The widget tab in the WC Messaging Settings provides a range of features that allow your business to engage directly with customers through WhatsApp. First, you can copy the chat link, which can be placed anywhere on your site, enabling customers to start a chat directly with your business. Additionally, the tab offers a QR code feature that customers can scan to place orders via WhatsApp, and you can enable this feature on individual product pages. You also have the option to activate the WhatsApp chat widget, which can be positioned anywhere on the page, with exclusions for specific pages like the cart, checkout, or dashboard. The widget's position can be customized to top left, top right, bottom left, or bottom right corners. You can also copy a short code to place the chat widget anywhere on your site, providing a convenient and interactive chat interface. Lastly, the checkout options let you decide whether WhatsApp notifications are sent based on the customer's consent and which phone numbers, billing, shipping, or both, are used for notifications. After configuring these options, saving the changes ensures the widget is set up for efficient operation, offering a seamless communication experience.
The Support tab facilitates customer communication with the development team, ensuring a seamless workflow. OK guys, our WC Messaging Pro plugin is now ready. Let's explore the WC Messaging chat. Administrators have the power to manage orders and custom messages with the order section. Customers can reach out to admins at any time, ensuring continuous and responsive support. Now chat screen is empty. When it gets messages it will be shown here. The recent chat section updates in real time when customers send messages via WhatsApp, enabling admins to respond instantly. In the customers section, you'll find a list of registered customers and WhatsApp users with WhatsApp integration, providing quick insights. The recent chat section in WC Messaging Pro displays chats from customers sent within the past 24 hours. Each chat allows businesses to add labels and internal notes for better organization. The time window shows when a customer was last active, and businesses can continue chatting within the 24-hour period. After this window, only template messages are allowed unless the customer initiates a new chat. Messages older than 24 hours no longer appear in the recent chat section. Additionally, the chat section offers features like sending saved replies, adding new users, searching by order ID or phone number, and filtering by tags, making it a versatile tool for managing customer interactions efficiently. Label filtering helps organize customers by assigning specific labels to them. You can set labels to categorize customers based on certain criteria. These labels can also be reset to adjust or remove the filtering. When adding new users via new option, only predefined templates messages can be sent unless the customer initiates a new chat. You can add a new user with just their phone number or with their phone number, first name, and last name, but only the phone number is must required field. The user will also list it in customer's tab section. This integration fosters seamless two-way communication. This plugin is all you'll ever need for a reliable WhatsApp integration with your WooCommerce store. Need help setting up a permanent access token? No worries, we're here to help. Check out this documentation, and you'll learn how to set it up in no time. When you create new tokens, they're only valid for 24 hours. If you want to create a permanent token, swing by our blog section for more info. Using this documentation, you can easily create a permanent token. Go to your business dashboard. Navigate to business settings, then select system users. Click add new system user. In the Assigned Assets section, check if your app is listed. If not, click Add Asset and give full control. Click Generate New Token for the system user, then a Generate Token pop-up will appear. A new access token will be shown as a link. Click it and store the token safely, Facebook won't store it for you. This token will not expire. 
Go to your app dashboard, then go to app roles dash roles and add people. App roles let you control who can edit and view your app. After creating your permanent access token, copy it and head over to the WC messaging settings page. Navigate to the general section and paste your permanent WhatsApp access token into the corresponding field. Simple as that. Now our plugin is completely ready. Okay guys then thank you for watching. For more details visit our website.